Hey there guys, gals, fans, and pals, your buddy John Megacycle here. Uh, another episode of Open TTD, the game, nope, City Builder Challenge, there it is. <laughs> I got it, I got it eventually. I was hoping there was going to be some way for us to set audio differently, but I guess not. Ooh, man, deep breath. We got a lot of stuff done last episode. Completely redid a bunch of our networks with the new monorail build. And yeah, this rating should get worse and worse over time. I think this is the only route I'll need to get all that steel going. That's a lot of goods. Okay. Um, so now, now's the time I guess we would have to ask ourselves... Um, are there any more of these routes we should redo? Because again, the problem with this is if I redo any of it, I have to redo all of it. I'm pretty content, honestly, with just adding more trains to some of these other things. I think I want to stand by my original stance of... Yeah, there's not a lot of overflow. I want to keep by my original stance of if it's coming to market, if it's coming home here... It should be monorail, if that's simple to do. Oh uh, yeah, just a quick check on everything. Wowzers. Okay, what is sitting here? Uh, you, my son, are getting cloned immediately. Scoot. Okay, everything southwest looks good. That all looks fine. Just a quick inventory check. Lots of steel. Okay, this is a good example where a steel upgrade would do us some real favors, I think. Uh, okay, that didn't work. Depot, you go. Yeah, this is a very straight line system. This will work out great. So I'm just going backwards. All the trains that are coming back home, meaning they're empty of steel... I'm sending to the market. I don't like to waste product if I can manage it. So we'll just uh, wait until these guys dump off their crap. Cool. And now I have flies in my room. Don't remember opening a door or why there's flies in my room. But now there's flies in my room. Good stuff. Good stuff. Just the bestest of stuffs. Uh, let's just wait on that. Okay, who else we got? You, Depot. You, Depot. And then this will be the last one here. Uh, we can start upgrading uh, backwards then. Like I can do cheeky stuff like this while we're waiting. If I really wanted to. Uh, there's not much to gain in doing that, so I'm not going to bother too hard. Waiting in Depot. Awesome. Awesome. So now the even cooler thing is with this setup we already have is I only have to do one line. Boop. Yep, that's it. Want to make sure, for very sure, I don't accidentally get anything else. Because I could easily trap a train by doing that. Um, it only checks if the blocks are occupied by a train or by an asset. Aside from that, it doesn't give two shoots. So I could easily accidentally block in my stuff, which would not be ideal in the slightest. Okay. Nuke. Yep. Three million. Three million in kickbacks. John T. Megacycle City Exchange no longer accepts goods. That's a problem. That's all that I'm bringing here is goods. That's a problem. Well, let's hope that fixes itself quickly, because there's nothing else I can do about that. That sucks. A lot, actually. We're above the... Yeah, we need goods. Just the one depot I have that's bringing in goods now doesn't accept goods anymore. Uh, yep. This train's gonna do nothing. Well, let's just hope that fixes itself, because I'm not gonna worry about it right now. Oh, now it accepts... Okay, that was a whole lot of heart stress for nothing at all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go to there. 
below that shiz. And I have to double check if I upgraded the station or not. I did. Excellent. Let's double check. I got the whole length. Whole length. Awesome. Cool. Nuke everything. <laughs> Clone. Boop. Clone. Boop. Clone. Boop. Okay, that's four trains. Carrying 240 tons of steel. 200 tons of steel. What were we carrying before? 160? Most likely 160, yeah. Cool. Um, does this have a ton of iron ore sitting? No? Okay. Those are looking good. Those little one-offs would be also very easy for us to get upgraded in very short order. Uh, if you're hearing any vibration, clicking, ticking, shaking, any of that sort of a thing, they're redoing the streets around this village I live in. Not in the game, like, it, IRL, real, real work is being done. Um, we've had some pretty serious flooding lately, uh, due to extra rain, and the streets have been in dis disrepair ever since I started living in this town, village, whatever the hell it's called. Uh, so this is well overdue work. So, uh, if you hear any, like I said, any clicking, vibration, shaking... If you hear anything weird, I'll try to do some audio corrections. That creaking right there is my chair. Can't avoid that. I have to find time to take it apart. And right now, today, I just want to do some uh, recording. That's how I feel. A million five. That's ridiculous. Um, okay. So what do we have now? Oh, let's, I guess let's just keep an eye on this little process for a little bit. See if this steel tones down a bit. So, what I'm watching here is, one train leaves, another train is ready to get in there. So, having, like, five trains doesn't make any sense if these trains are fast enough for four to be... Yeah, four is acceptable. That works out incredibly well. Like, incredibly... It's incredibly good. Super good. Uh, what I may do... Okay, it's still loading. Um, I think I might do something like this. Are we still- wait, 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 wait. You're still a steel train hauling to Tastywell North, which is... Wait. Oh, Tastywell North is here. Okay, after you're done with that drop, I'm gonna... Pull you out of the thing. Uh, so what was I doing? Oh, I was doing this. So I can free up another slot so I can get more steel going. Stuff is just gonna get more and more and more efficient. Delete, skip. No, well, that kind of worked. There we go. Cool. That fixed that. Okay, do we have any other old-school steel? Red is steel, blue is, um, scrap. You're also, you're also, go back. Go back. Yeah, because I'm going to build a new, a new line here just for steel. I wanted to free up this line here so I could do another one of these double dualies. Yeah, so we have how many? How many? One, two, three, four. Four seems fine because now we've got a bit of a backlog for loaders. And that had to happen for sure, I guess. Yeah, see? It kind of feels like we'll always have one train. 
loading up, which is fine by me. And you'll naturally go this way, you'll drop off, it'll be perfect. I'm surprised I haven't gotten any more notifications for trains that are just waiting, but that's okay. This is going to look incredibly similar to what we've already got. Um, personally, I think I would like this to be on this side. Just so we have it very similar to the way we have it already. Uh, nuke. Yep. Cool. And probably what I should have done is this first. Oh, it won't just upgrade. Okay, that's totally fine. Totes fine. There's that. And we're going to do the exact same thing we did down there. So it's going to come in and then out. And it'll only have literally one way to do so. Um, I don't really need that or that, I don't think. So let's finish carving up the line here. Maybe a fifth train would be good. Uh, I'm debating between four and five, but we're gonna add, we're about to add four more trains to the process, so I think we'll be all right. Uh, that all can go away. That can go away. That can go away. Yeah, we might be reaching a waste of track. Um, we are. I could pipe it down and then feed it back out to make this whole process a lot easier, but... Meh? Meh. <laughs> meh. That's... I guess that's my official stance on this situation, is just meh. <laughs> meh, strong bad. Meh. Man, my house is rumbling. Like, I don't... I don't have air conditioning on. I don't have anything going on in my house, but... Huh. There's some ruckus going on here. There's some straight up ruck. We're now starting to reach the part of the game where having these extra spacious blocks is a little more helpful. Oh, you know, we probably have enough power. We could probably go 10 cars or something, something even smexier, you know? I'm just doing this. I don't know why I'm doing this manually. I guess I'm doing this manually. Uh, I kind of spaced. The old school open t uh, the old school transport tycoon deluxe in my brain kicked in and I'm like ah oh. okay so this is gonna be super simple all the orders are exactly the same so clone train nope clone train one two three four come on there we go boom 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 okay that's a lot more steel we're gonna have moving. And I signaled it correctly, so this train is waiting until the block is clear. Perfect. That's exactly how that should go. Train 22 is lost. Ow. I'll just follow you. Man, I didn't have this much problem with any other system. This monorail stuff is starting to be a real pain. It looks good, it looks good, it looks good. It connects. Oh, I know what the problem is. Haha. -ha. Yes. Train 69 is lost. Nice. Yeah, the entire that side of the house is shaking. <laughs> I don't know enough about street repair, so I don't know. They're probably breaking it all apart, paving new stuff. I'd hope. I don't know. I don't know how this works. 
I don't know how any of this works. Okay, 3200. Come on, buddy. We need we need this to speed up. This is going to be a lot like my Bob's playthrough that was like, what, 130 episodes or something? Nobody wants that. Nobody wants that. <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> uh. Alright, everything's moving nice. Got a lot of carriage there. Uh, what do we have for better aircraft? This stuff has to be old, right? Three years. That's been replaced several times, I assure you. There's no way that's still the same. It's the same craft. The dinger, the air taxi, the air taxi, the yate. Uru. Darwin. We The Darwin 3 is still pretty premier aircraft. I don't really think there's anything I'd want to change about that. To be completely honest. Yeah. Pretty, pretty slick. Um, all right, let's take a look at food. How is food doing? 3,000! Good lord, and a lot of food. Uh, I'm just gonna let that stockpile, I guess. Ooh, that worked out very nicely. I like that. Um, what's the next product? I keep forgetting. Steel at 5k. All right. Shouldn't be too bad. We're stockpiled really nicely on mail, passengers, goods, food. Everything's looking really solid. I don't I don't really have anything else to do do at this stage. Um When it really comes down to it, I wouldn't mind steel to be its own line. So do you accept oh yeah, how do you accept steel? How would you accept steel? Because this this city doesn't accept food. This does. The hotel accepts the food. Food, alcohol, passengers. Maybe steel's a bad choice. Is this... Sand and chemicals. Fruit. Oh, that's gonna be awesome. Just fruit. Fruit it up. Fruit up the whole thing. Uh, Trottington Steel Mill. Berry Bottom. Very bottom. Iron ore mine. I need something that requires steel, so the city is technically accepting the goods. But I don't really see anything that would accept steel. Krustyberg Metal Workshop would accept steel, but it's for the wrong city. For the wrong town. So that doesn't help. Man, these things are fairly unreliable. I'm glad I didn't add even more cargo. Uh, the ninth. How close are we to another... Oh, hey, guess what? Fund. That's something I wish it would be automatic. Just auto-funding, because this is a little annoying. Uh, here's... Maybe I need to help out with road construction or something? How's this looking? Except passengers, that's not bad. Um, I could monorail that. Monorail a bunch of this stuff in. That would take a little pressure off of some stuff. Also, this double line is mostly unused. Maybe? Maybe let's do that. That sounds like fun to me. Let's do that. Let's, uh, boop. Up, up, up and away. Time to upgrade. Uh, wow. That city is thick with a capital thick. Uh, to get the whole thing, you have to bulldoze a bunch of crap. How about that? Cool, thanks. Much obliged. Oh, I didn't have to bulldoze that much. Well, too late. Haha! Let's turn on our... There we go. Okay, there is one line. I want to see if I can get five or six lines down here, I think. Try to see if we can maximize this thing I'm doing. I don't know, I kind of feel as we get to the five, six thousand range in terms of population. 
the people in the mail is going to be a really big stickler. I don't know why I feel that way, but I really do, even though we're bringing in a lot of stuff. Uh, if I feel like we're overdoing it, what we could also do is we could also trim some off the main, the main bus. Main fire. This is going to accumulate nothing. That does a bit better. Let's remove road first. Indeed. Thank you. I don't know if this is the way I want to go, but I at least want the railroad placed. Um, I don't remember if these towns have a problem if you try to place uh, railroad after they've placed road. I don't know if that's an issue. I don't remember if that's a big thing or something. Uh, yes, I'm interested. Ah, yes. Megacycle Transit for all your transit needs. Okay, so that gives us, what, one, two, three, four more stops. And these are just going to plug right into this line. It's going to be so simple. No need to do its own circuit. I'm not using these lines as much as I could be anyway, so no big deal on that. But yeah, a little something something like that. And a little something something like it is. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Real good. Real, real good. I like it. Plug and play, right? Just like we've been doing this entire time. The whole system is just plug and play. What the hell? What signal type is this? What bananas is this? Yeah, I'm not... No. <laughs> I'm set in my ways, thank you. I will stick to that. Huh? Um, I will need... A turnabout of some sort. The trains are moving so fast, and I don't plan on adding a ton more congestion. This shouldn't be that big of a deal. I hope. I hope it's not that big of a deal. So, I'm not going to build all new uh, depots. I'm just going to do this. So, one, two, three, four, five... How much do you carry? 21 tons of mail. Oh, 35 bags of mail. Oh, nice. Uh, this is looking really good. Uh, let's make you a little more even, I think. Oh, I didn't get a your ass is lost order. Nice. Oh, crap. I didn't finish setting up the rest of the station yet. <gasps> Beans. Uh, hmm. Mm hmm hmm. How do I want this to happen? This is a little claustrophobic. And the problem is. Well, here, let's just see what happens. Yeah, I know. Accepts passengers. Oh, right. This doesn't even accept mail yet. Uh, that has to happen because of this. Oh, I built it wrong. Oh, you know what? That's perfect. Ha-ha! That's actually, that's actually dead on exactly what I needed to have happen without me knowing that's what was going to happen. Fantabulous. Fantabulous, look at this. Yep. No, that's great. Holy dang. Loud with a side of loud. Where did you go? Oh, you know what? What am I doing? Let's do this the smart way. Nuke. Nuke. Go here. Nuke, nuke, nuke. <laughs> nuke. <laughs> go to there. Go to there. That makes way more sense than me trying to force it. 
Uh, I'm still gonna leave this here though. But yeah, this is mostly still unused, so this 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 is fine. I think I'm getting too hungry because I'm getting easily confused. That happens to me sometimes. I can't be the only one. Like if you're ever like really hungry, uh, blood sugar is low, most likely. Uh, probably a bowl of cereal and, and a banana will probably fix me right up. Yeah, someone's nailing that hot licks guitar. Okay, so that works for that. Um... Let's see here. Comes down and around, comes down and around. Actually, I'm gonna need some... Oh yeah, we have them. Ha! <laughs> There's so many moving parts, I keep forgetting what the hell's happening. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Okay, that's two connected. Um, yeah, I'd like to get this one, maybe two there, one there. Get this all lined up nice. I actually have to call this a short episode. I'm really hungry. And it doesn't help I keep talking about food either. This has definitely been a case of just keep expanding. Keep expanding, keep expanding, 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 keep expanding, keep expanding. Like anytime I ever think like, yeah, that's gonna be good for a while. Uh nope. <laughs> you gotta play with like factorial logic, I think, to stay ahead of this game. Uh factorial logic is one of the things I refer to when it comes to uh basic resources such as iron. Uh, you might think you have enough iron when it comes down to you're like, oh man, steel? I'm turning iron into steel? That's all going good? I've got enough uh, stuff coming in? we got enough iron for bullets? And uh, research? And everything? And circuits? Where everything's looking good. And then you add one more thing. And then you realize, holy crap, I don't have enough to do anything, and I need way more iron. Uh, iron is used in everything. That's why that's a common theme. So... That's another train added. I really hope Maglev allows us to simply upgrade from Monorail. And then with Maglev, I'm sure Maglev is, if I remember, it is stupid fast. Like, stupid, stupid, stupid fast, stupidly. Beep, boop, boop. Beep, beep, boop, boop, boop. Yeah, I love this little system we've got here. It makes everything so simple. Every add-on is pretty brainless. Like, I don't have to concentrate to do anything. The only thing I can possibly screw up is the signals. That's something that's still very well within my power to absolutely ruin at any given time. For sure. Absolutely. I'll still ruin that without even trying. Uh, and I'm almost making it sound like it's a badge of honor. It's not. It's not ideal. At all. <laughs> but yeah, we'll just do this. I was about to buy a livestock car for people. That's not right. <laughs> uh, that would have been funny for like four seconds, and then no, that's not correct. 
Okay. There's that. And now one more hookup. I'd like to see if we can tap this crusty bridge. Because there's a lot of potential here. I'm going to need multiple stations for sure. Oh, can I just piggyback off of this? Oh, that would be dope. Uh, I totally can. Hell yeah. That is dope. I like that. Beep, boop, boop. Still sounds like someone's just going ape crap on one of those Casio keyboards, yeah? Uh, what I am gonna do... There we go. That made that very simple. I don't think there's any real need to keep laying brand new track for everything, especially if, like, two trains are gonna use it. Oh, uh, these trains are fast, but they're not that fast. They still need time to go back to the hangar, back to the, uh, depot, whatever name I'm gonna call it. Uh, rearm, repair, refuel, all that. Or whatever they do. I'm not a train engineer, I don't know. I just like using them. I don't... I don't know any of this crap. Okay, so I probably don't need this airport anymore, but I kind of figure I'll still want something for the mail anyway. So I still feel it's worth it. So ding. And it's already very established. Cool. That's done. I made that really easy. I still wouldn't mind to see if we can get a proper rail line over here. That is worth it to me. Boop. Boop, boop. Um, problem with this setup is... Um... Hold on. Can't really get a good angle in here, no matter how I shift it. Oh, that looks better. Let's do that. Uh, level this out. Thank you. That looks good to me. Hopefully minimize some of the destruction here. Whatever that was, it had to go. Was that the large building I just nuked? Oh, craps, it was. Well, hopefully they'll forgive me or something. Doubtful, but let's hope they do. This plugs into this really neat... Really neat, and then this, and now we just slap bam this into here, set up a train, call it a day. Really nice addition to everything we're doing, uh, its own network, its own everything, and that's something I'm really happy about because the more I'm pushing off to other networks for the same stuff I need done anyway, the higher probability or the better chance it's going to be for me to do a full conversion. Because there's less trains I have to replace. That's the logic I'm using anyway. Okay. That's one, two, three, four, five, six trains. All plugged in. All nice. Now this network is being utilized a lot more, which is good. Yeah, this is good. This is real good. Um, I'm still leaving this here in case we get proper... Like, accepts goods, or accepts whatever. So let's set this up right. That way there's no... There's no confusion. Boop. Yep, that's exactly what that's gonna look like. Neat. Neat, neat, neat. And then this'll probably also be double-backed for alcohol. 
We have a cidery somewhere around here, don't we? Yeah, cider mill right there. So I can plug that right into here because these lines aren't being fully utilized either. Let's double check on our steel. It's been a little while and I've added way more trains. We're out of steel. Awesome. And that means all of it's transported. So that means 880 crates of goods. Good lord, that's a lot of goods. It's a lot of goods. Okay. We'll have to do some shifting when it comes to steel. Um, I might have the city exchange here just be goods. And I might shift over the other one to actually do steel. I might set up another thing for steel. We have junk, iron, coal, coal. Another steel mill right here. Maybe that's what we do. I'll have to think about that. I got a little... I got a, <laughs> it's a lot going on. There's a lot I need to think about. There's even more I need to consider on how we want to handle all this. Um, but things are going good. I am very content with how things are flowing. This train is going to probably get a darn near full load. What's your total capacities, anyway? Uh, 225, 105, yeah. Awesome. Yep, that'll do. Oh, did, how full did you get? I should have checked. 198, 77, that's not shabby at all. Yeah, I like that. How are we doing on goods? Tons and tons of goods. No steel here. Very little steel here. That's good. We're moving. We're moving the stuff. That's all peachy. Peachy, peachy. Let's do a quick resource check. Yep, the only real stockpiles of stuff are in places we already know about. That's no big deal. Uh, when it comes to this, where would I bring those resources in? Now that I'm thinking about it, if we're doing steel, that's not ready. This is already reserved for alcohol when we get that far. Um, yeah, I'm almost thinking I'm still going to wait until we have the requirement for steel because I don't know where to take it. If there's a factory or something I need to build... So hang on, I can fund an industry, can't I? I'm very confident I have the money. Uh, it would be a... Not a metal workshop. Oh, it would be a metal workshop. Uh, fund. Uh, I could ease... That's, that's nothing. That's no money. So if I can fund it... I might fund it here, create a new network, and that would completely strip off everything from what I need. That would be cool, but let's see what happens. It'd be kind of stupid if I had to fund it, but it kind of makes sense at the same time. I don't know. Anyway, let's take a bit of a break here. I need to check in with work. I need to eat a food. I am starving. Thank you all for joining me. Name's John Megacycle, and I hope to catch you next time for more City Builder Open TTD. Hey there guys, gals, fans, and pals, thanks for checking out my video. I also want to take a moment to thank all my supporters and donators, and if you'd like to join up with me and Game With My Crew, all the information to get connected is in the description below. Thanks again, and I hope to catch you next time.